Hello fellow Spartans and welcome to part 8 of the Egyptian Let's Play for Total War Rome 2 and we continue where we left off uh, with our our war with the uh, Seleucids as we have been having for the last few turns as we know the mighty Seleucid Empire we seem to be on our last legs now um, I'm sure you guys remember we took Salamis last turn uh, but it looks like they are on their um, on their knees really by the looks of things they've got that town at Edessa to the north here looks like he's under some sort of attack either being um, I don't know attacked by a spy or it's under siege by an army I don't know um, I don't think it'd be under siege it'd be in a town but uh, looks like they're having some sort of damage there so I think that's our last I th yeah I think that's our last settlement so the mi the once mighty Seleucid Empire are literally as I say on their knees Pontus have pushed on with their empire uh, come south, took Antioch, which surprised me, that was my target, which I'm obviously with them taking Antioch, I had to push uh, west onto Salamis instead, but it looks like, as I say, uh, the Seleucids are, are pretty much, there we go, looking for something from a, attrition here, so it looks like we could be seeing the end of them very soon, and of course on our North African coast here, we've got our rebellion, the Hellenic rebels, which we need to take out next turn, and then, of course, try and fight back against the Kyrene, which humiliatedly defeated me at the city there uh, in the second to last episode, which we, we obviously we need to fight back, get a more significant army across to there to, to attack them once again with ballistas this time, and hopefully the, uh, the revenge will be sweet upon them. Um, so yeah, that's where we are in terms of state of play at the moment. We've got two rebellions is going on, so we're going to take them out next turn. Um, quickly going to this, the strategic overview here, because um, someone suggested in the last episode, which I did like the idea of, of me going north and attacking Knossos and Rose in the islands here, like I've done on my Spartan campaign, and take those two islands and then push north further into Greece to take on Sparta and Athens solidify that area for Egypt once that's done that will give me a, a stronghold and enough uh, we have forces and um, f uh, settlements and income to then push east into Asia Minor here and sort of start to push through these territories as we, territories as we go then link up with Egypt who we've got here, obviously our regions here, link that all together, uh, which will have then, at that point, have a nice little empire going, and then push out further east into Parthia, Bactria, that sort of area, and then sort of swoop down across here and then link, link all this together and solidify this whole area uh, of the campaign map for Egypt. So that's that's, that's going to be our, our objectives over the next number of episodes uh, and then we'll see how it goes from there but I think that's a good idea and then possibly then we'll push over here into Carthage and possibly Spain and Italy um, as time goes on but this is definitely going to be our main objective for the next uh, number of episodes because it's, it's going to take a while obviously but this is going to be where we're going to mainly concentrate our our war um, and our expansion on uh, for Egypt. So yeah, I like the suggestion from whoever it was you put on in the comments and uh, I think yes definitely we'll go with that and see how it plays out. So that's where we are and that's where we plan to go in, in terms of the, the campaign. Um, so yes, yes that is it. And so we can't do anything this turn because I remember we finished last episode just after we, t after we took Salamis. So we'll end the turn now and um, see what happens. If you guys have been asking me um, why there's sudden increase in subscribers a lot over the last weeks, so obviously you know a lot of my subscribers have been with me for a while now, um, and it's been at the 200 mark for a while, and then suddenly it's burst up into the, you know, the early low 900s. And massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed; it's been amazing. Uh, your comments, your support has been incredible. But for people who don't realise why, it's because of Lionheart and his uh, video he put on his channel last week about the multiplayer campaign which I'm going to be doing with him next week on the Hannibal at the Gates DLC. Uh, the video is asking you guys to vote either to be a, a co-op campaign or a versus campaign, so the power is in your hands. So if you haven't checked the video out yet, out. Um, link to it is in the description below. Go down, check it out and cast your vote. It will be... Um, It'll be worth your while. So yeah, that's the reason why I've had this increase. But as I say, 
your support and the people who have subscribed since last week uh, I thank you massively so thank you very much and if I do get to a thousand subscribers which is fingers crossed it's looking like that will happen I will be doing a special thank you video to you all so do check that out um, when it comes out uh, over the next few weeks hopefully I need to get something first to make the video worthwhile but when I, once I get it I won't tell you what it is but once I get it uh, it will definitely be out on the channel for you okay so Axum's being destroyed media has gone I'm oh, happy populace with Libya, Nabatia, we know about that. Alliance Forge, Bithania and Pergamon, we know about that. They usually tend to forge together in all the Let's Plays, so that's not uh, uh, uncommon to see. Um, yeah, so I'm going to push Archie out with my spy just to see what's going on in Edessa. Oh dear, they really are in trouble, aren't they? However, they did seem to bring. Yes, look, they've got a. Ooh, they've got an army here that's in forced march state, forced march uh, stance, I should say, that looks to be coming across to take Palmyra. Um, so we may defend that and possibly may lose that at the moment. But Salamis, it is on good public order. But that's because of the military presence. However, if we took them away. No, it will start to decrease, but not at an alarming rate. And at a rate which we could probably afford to lose at the moment, because I think we're going to have to bring this army across to intercept these and then push on to Odessa and hopefully wipe them th them out for good, really. So let's do that now, actually. It's going to take a couple of turns, but if we can try and intercept them... At oh, God, no, I don't want to go that way, but... Okay. Let's point to Forge Row. So next turn they'll probably get there, maybe. We may have to attack Palmyra after they've taken. I don't think we're we'll about to hold them out without but the garrison. I mean, then once we've got that back, we'll push straight on to Odessa. Um, so they're only minus one now at Salamis, so that's okay. That will sort of change and um, improve over time, I think. One of them will be uh, instability, won't it? Yeah. So that will start to decrease anyway, so that won't be an issue. Um, so yeah, so we'll see how that one plays out. So let's get rid of these rebels. Oh, this is going to be quite a tricky battle, actually. So we're going to have to play this one out, guys. The D auto resolve isn't the best, so let's let's fight this one on the battlefield and see how we do. And also, if you want to um, subscribe to my email notifications, I haven't said this for a while, uh, but if you do, yeah. Um, there's a link to that in the description below as well. It's been in all my, uh, you know, all my videos, sorry, in the description. But if you click on that link, uh, you can actually then subscribe to uh, my email notifications. So once I upload a new video, you'll get an email in your inbox, obviously, to notify that I've just uploaded a video. So it's a bit better way than having to keep checking my channel every time. So um, the link to that is in the description below, and check it out if you want to. Okay, 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 okay. So Callie and Axman. Carrion Axman, we love the Carrion Axman, don't we? So let's get these at the front. Group 2. Bloody hell, war elephants! They like shouting on this, these Egyptians, don't they? The Galatian Royal Guard, they shout for England. Or shout for Egypt, should I say, not for England. But you know what I mean. And then we've got our pikemen. So they're going to have to push in with the pike style, as we love to have. And uh, we get these slingers are going across. So yeah, let's go on and see how we do with this one, guys. Yeah, the auto resolve wasn't the best there, so we're gonna have to definitely fight this out. But we could have elephant on elephant here. It's gonna be pretty epic. Oh, didn't realise we've got the garrison army as well. That's interesting. We'll definitely use you to bring you across here. The mob. Well. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> the mob is the mob, and we know what they can and can't do, and it's not much. Um, slingers, so we shall... We've obviously got the slingers already there, haven't we? So there's more mob to come, Jesus. How lucky are we? got now four units of mob. I feel blessed by the gods of Egypt. So get you into group three, as you are all Egyptian infantry. So put you at the front rank there. 
the carrion axeman going on the left hand side. The Egyptian pikeman can go across on the right and then we can sort of push him in. Uh, the elephants, well they can stay there just for a second while we start to adjust our army accordingly. But they are going to, looks like the rebels are going to stay there on their ground and we're going to have to push out to them as we did obviously go out and attack them. So they don't want to come and rush me when I can take the fight to them. try and surround them with this. We'll try and surround them and see what we can do. I'm interested to see how the war elephants, how they play on this battle actually. What they've got, what they brought to the table. They brought Numidian bowmen, carrion axemen as well, Numidian spearmen and then they've got a oh, nice few Camel units, or Egyptian cavalry units, and a camel spearman. What the hell made the ground shake then? That was interesting. What are these? These are the normal African war elephants, or just African elephants, which seem to be blooded already. I don't know if they've seen battle in another <laughs> another day or something, but surprising how they're already blooded. That's interesting. Um, are my war elephants blooded? No. Okay, right. So our let's wait for our reinforcements to come along. Have to fast forward just to uh, get that moving along nicely, and then we're going to move in. So let's go. Let's go, ladies and gents, and move in nice and steadily on the uh, the re the rebellion. The rebel army. The rebel scum. Which I'm sure if you're a Star Wars fan know know that reference from there from that film. You rebel scum. So they have moved out their Egyptian cavalry now to try and push against mine uh, my carrying axemen. So we'll push in with those two units and, and take them doubtly on. Get the uh, slingers to start firing in. The pikemen will get you against the camel spearmen, you should do quite well against them actually. So you can try and adjust yourselves accordingly. So the main bulk is coming in here now. We've got the Egyptian infantry holding strong. If we can then bring these out left. Oh god, the act wavering already of the axemen. Oh pikes then, they're gonna surely come a cropper against my pikes there. Let's take the uh, war elephants across here this way. Our general is under attack. Take your skirmish definitely and get you into melee. God, you trampled all over your own men there. No shame at all from those elephants. No shame whatsoever. Oh Christ, here come the airs. And they're already wavering our pikemen. That's unbelievable. Elephants are causing some damage to their cavalry on that left, though. Our men flee the field of battle. This is not good. They are starting to cause a bit of a problem here. It's not good in the slightest. We could be facing the down the battle of defeat here. <laughs> oh God! Elephants are coming across now to our war elephants. She's not good at all. We could lose this battle here and we could lose this army. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Let's get the spearmen to try and do some damage if they can, but it looks like it's little, too little too late and we know how poor these Egyptian infantry are. We need to get rid of them in our armies as soon as we can. But yeah, looks like we're going to have to uh, flee the battle actually. Yeah, I think we're going to have to withdraw. The rebellion has conquered today. Which is surprising, but yes. They've done very well there. I don't blame them. 
just um, let's run play out for a second and then we'll have to try and regroup and uh, fight them another day but it looks like they have done very well there against me so we can see defeat yeah they've done they've surprisingly uh, done well but they have a look at that they have got uh, silver chevrons so they have got quite a lot of veterancy in their ranks so that may have played a factor against uh, the army there but we have halved their forces but uh, they uh, they were the better on the day so we'll have to retreat back into uh, Jerusalem and see what we can do there but that wasn't very good at all I hope we can try and do better against these These are good as well. Let's see what we resolve on this one, say. Well, I think we're going to resolve this one just because of. Um, you know, we want to get some more substantial battles in. We have managed to kill the captives, and I think we're going to, yeah, kill them in the gut, right? So we have taken them out now. But these these rebel armies that are rising up are. Uh, Quite tricky customers because they are got, they have got a lot of veterinary to see as I say on their in their ranks so they are giving me quite a hard time actually but never mind we'll um, we'll keep fighting on as always um, okay so that's those well one up rebellion army course we've got to sort out that next one next time make sure you don't take Jerusalem um, okay so the workshop is one turn away God that's going to not come soon enough that workshop. And Alexander, we can build the barracks now. Yeah, we'll go for the barracks because that's going to give us nice Galatian swordsmen, which we'd love to have in the army. We'll replace that, the Egyptian infantry with them. So we'll recruit them, build that one there. Um, we'll, yes, we'll definitely put some more men into this army. Albeit infantry of Egy Egyptian infantry and slingers, but it's going to make a, a little bit of a difference, I hope. Yeah, I remember those mercenary Syrian army elephants? They were fantastic in those battles at Tiros and Salamis. They have made a massive difference to the uh, the success of this army. Um, we're going to take, we'll get rid of the Persian cavalry. We don't need them anymore. Look at that, how much that changes our income net each turn. So, but that's enough. We'll keep the two army elephants. They're making such a difference to us. And look at that, already unit um, veterinary of silver. So they are. Um, going to be very good in the next few turns against Seleucid, against the Seleucid judges say in the next few turns um, okay let's go into diplomacy that's, look at that, that's nice, all green that's what I want to see so we're trading with everyone possible well apart from them but they aren't in a good place for them at the moment I don't think they like the fact that they've got yeah, it I'm a culture verse with them, and they've got treaties with the uh, um, the Mayine and the uh, the Moreau. Not to worry, they will be taken out eventually. So you can be unhappy with me all you like. Okay, so we'll end the turn again and see what happens with the solutions now. If they're going to attack me at uh, Palmyra, yeah, they are. Now, there's no way I'm going to be able to hold with that garrison army. So we'll uh, we'll resolve it and then bring in our main army across to retake it and hopefully we can get rid of this rebellion at Jerusalem the last thing we want is them causing us issues but yeah they say I'm surprised how well they did against me then and probably it was because I was that poor maybe but uh, they did put up one hell of a fight Few movements down in uh, southern Africa there. The city or the faction of Cyprus still going strong. They're holding out well there. My um, my client state doing very well there. Okay, 
trade agro agreement dissolved. Dissolved, right, okay. Uh, plague anti out or we'll avoid that city for a while. Gale Sandwich destroy, we know about that. Trouble populace, yeah. Settlement lost, Palmyra. Yeah. Where's this at? City, yeah. Okay. Workshop built, yes! That's what I wanted to see. Let's go over to you already and start recruiting you. As you are, and yes, you are. No, damn it, you've got to bring you across, have we? Because. That's, that's not too bad. Minus two, that's going to stay out. Just sort of hopefully decline as well soon. Cultural differences, right? So, as soon as we can, if we can try and get an expansion slot here, we can build a. Um, an army, oh no, a, a temple there, but that actually reminded me, what we'll do is we'll build a, um, we'll build a recruit a general here, and raise an army, just to try and calm tensions down. Yeah, public order that one, two public order. Oh, I love the selection, the general selections you can get on this uh, Egyptian. Let's play. There's so many to choose from. I'm gonna go for the. Um, oh, nice! It will guard. Let's go for the Thorax. Will Thorax swordsman? I like the look of them. So, you, yeah, you go. Look at that. Plus six. So that's gonna make and keep that public order nice and steady now. So now we're in this area we're in the Egyptus province. We can now recruit the ballistas. So, just all gearing up for that attack on Kyrian again. So, these guys, Jesus, they are recruiting again. No, they're too strong at the moment, they really are. We've got to retreat again. Go into Jerusalem and recruit some more infantry from there. The sooner we can get rid of them, the better. So I get you onto the border, right there, to then attack Palmyra again, and then swoop straight in without any hesitation up to Odessa then. Give them no chance of being able to uh, regroup. Okay, so we're at 696 in terms of money. Recruiting there, and we're actually recruiting. Can we rec I think they're in the same... No, they're not. Not in the same province, so we can recruit here as well. Let's get another unit in. Even if it is Egyptian infantry, it makes... In fact, is it better just to recruit some mercenaries instead? Yeah, I'll go for the mercenary helmet. Or oh, in fact, next turn we could get some other elephants in as well, just for the, just for that battle. Yeah, we'll get another set of elephants in next turn. So we can't do anything else now. Again, so we'll end the turn once more, and then we'll fight Palmyra. So not much expansion in this episode, but uh, it's all about the preparation in this episode. I think more than the expansion, just to get ready to deliver the, the final blow to the Seleucids next, next episode and push on to Kyrene as well. Really happy with how much support you guys are giving me on the, um, the Syracuse uh, Let's Play for my Hannibal the Gates DLC. Um, been fantastic. The amount of thumbs up I've been getting on the the episodes has been amazing, and the uh, the views as well. So please continue to support on, obviously on the Hannibal at the Gates uh, campaign with Syracuse, and of course my other three main campaign um, let's play is this Rome and Sparta as well. Your as I say, your support is most appreciated. So research complete. Okay. Oh, we have a. An event. What name? One of your subjects on the lips of everyone. We know that. Yes. Yeah, so if I can see what he has done. 
One of your magistrates is complaining about the lack of slaves in his province. He feels that more slaves would help to improve the productivity of his lands and boost the local economy. Work them harder. Yes, work them harder. I've got money to be time or money to be spent on giving you more slaves. You have to work them harder. So I can see what the best option to go for here is. I'm looking possibly at that one, Hopalite Barracks, Land Grant, that one maybe, but we need to start looking at civil matters as well. So always concentrate on our civil buildings as well, get the money in. Yeah, that could be quite a, a handy thing to have, get the dignitaries, um, or we could be able to recruit dig dignitaries because they can spread cultural conversion across the land so we'll go for that one actually instead there was a population surplus at Egyptus at Egyptus so to say so Memphis has got that so let's oh now we've got the building chain of the quarry so let's get some yeah because public order isn't an issue is it cultural is issues no there's no cultural problems here it's 100% Egyptian so our money, our food's okay. So yeah, we'll go for the quarry. We'll go for the quarry. God, the blisters are being recruited. Excellent. It's coming together now. It's coming together for this army. It's what we want to see. Just thinking what to go for. One more pipeman. Okay, and get some cavalry in as well. What can I do for are we in a stronger position now to attack the rebels? Oh my glory. god, these are... Oh dear. Guys, if you know of what I should do against these rebels, tell me in the comments below because I'm struggling to know what I'm going to do here. If it, and if it's fight better in the battle, then yeah, I know that. But if you can think of anything to do to help me with this, then let me know because at the moment these are causing me, or will be cause be causing me some big problems probably in the next few episodes or next few turns. So if you know what to do against them, then tell me below. But at the moment I cannot do anything against them. So we'll go and take Palmyra back now. Oh, this is. Um, it's an auto resolve job here, so I don't think we need to even play this one out. Yeah, this is quite easy, we'll get this one. Straight to the neck. Oh, and I think a death has been taken as well, actually. So this could be the yes, it is, it's the end of the Seleucids. Gone. Ready for orders. I don't know why I just raised that then actually. That's ridiculous. Oh, did I did I raise it or just occupied it. Sorry, I did I thought I raised it then, but we've occupied it. So yeah, they're on their knees. That is it. Surely, once those fl those two fleets are destroyed, that will be it. They are gone. Which is pretty damn good. So what I'm going to do, because of that, because of that, I am going to, I was thinking what the best thing to do. Yeah, I'm going to take this army here next turn and bring them down and join with these to attack this rebel, this rebel army here. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do it in a second. So I'll see if we can try and produce or hire some mercenaries. Some camel spearmen may do. So let's end the turn, bring these guys down from the north and then see if this can make the difference. Oh, but they are attacking me now, the Seleucids. Oh dear. Okay. No, I don't think we've got enough to... Or maybe we have. I mean, they haven't really got much. I think we're going to play this one out, guys, because the odds there, I think, don't give me enough credit. I may be able to hold this one out. I don't know, but we'll find out. We'll play this one out, guys. I 
just think we, we may have a chance at this one. But yeah, I think if by looks of things, if we don't get a chance to bring that army down from Palmyra. If you know of any other way I could try and get rid of those rebels, then please tell me because they are causing me a massive issue. Okay, so let's put these back on here. Start the battle, get them docked at this pit part of the land. And then we can then just try and hold out. So we're going to bring them across here, because I think they're going to dock one of the things at this part of the land. Now they haven't got much to bring to the actual battle. They've only got the, they've got the slingers, but they've got the, that's the only problem. There's a the silver shield swordsman. Apart from that, they've only got... Yeah. Mer so, um, what's it? Skirmish units, really. So, ah, they're not going to come this way, so they're going to come possibly this way instead then. So we'll bring them back over here. If we... What is we're going to do is if we get our... Our two missile units to... Move across to where they're going to come. And then... Try and fire on the... Onto the boat. Okay, I'll just cut, I'll just cut that bit out of the uh, the video because nothing really much happened. It was just them sailing towards us. So we're back now, and they've landed at the uh, the coastline there and over here. So they are starting to attack me now with their eastern spearmen and eastern slingers. So if we can try and get our needs to come across here to fire in, possibly. So we're going to get our slingers to fire in now, or javelin men, I should say. Break them down. She are starting to sign to um, to fall to here. They've got 44 units left. Surely this would. Uh, there we go, 42. Let's see slingers coming across as well now. And they're going to try and attack me. So if we just bring on out our. Actually, no, he's coming across now. It's more slingers. So, if we get our mob and Egyptian infantry to go in, I don't know where they're going. Interesting. If we attack with our infantry, they surely can try and hold out against these uh, eastern slingers. Get them using the whip. Push in against them. Push in. Bring our. Javelin man to start firing at the rear. Oh no, no, no. don't don't want the uh, the mom coming across yet. Firing against those slingers. So we have got wavering from all those eastern slingers. Thank God. The ac the archers are firing in. Keep pushing in, guys. Keep pushing in. See how far we can go with these, but it's a promise it's the Thorax, so the Silver Shield Swordsman coming in now, they're going to be a real problem. So if we can try and get the Slingers and Javelin Men to fire in against them, that's going to be where the problem lies. And they've got full units there, 60 out, 160 out of 160, this is where the battle could be lost here with that unit there. Man, is up there ready. Yeah, they are starting to waver, or not waver, but they're getting starting to get low in morale on our unit there. So this is going to be. Yeah, here we go. Wavering has begun. The swordsmen are starting to cause issues. We've been trying fire with the javelin as much as possible. 
Down to one foot, one three eight now. Just keep going, keep keep pushing back, keep going back and see what happens. Come on. If you bring in these now. Oh, trying to attack us from the rear as well as Sneaky gets. Rip on him as well. Yeah, they're all already wavering against the Super Shield Swordsman. There's no chance they're going to be able to withstand that army. So that unit, they are pretty, pretty damn good. The Silver Shield Swordsman are. I don't think we're going to be able to defend this city. Today, no, this hasn't been a very good day at all for Egypt. We've lost both battles that we fought in today. Not good at all. And the battle there, yeah, it was going to be a difficult one. It was on the cards, really. Silver Shield Swordsman, obviously, there, 176, producing a high number of kills to our army. But yeah, it's been uh, it's been a bad day at the office for the Egyptians today. Not good at all. But this is all what it's about. You know, I'm playing on very hard. The AI is going to it is going to produce some difficult battles against me, which is what I want to have. I want the challenge that the AI is giving to me. So this is good, but it's not to say that it's going to be always like this. We will fight back and we will push back against them and start to make progress. I mean, once I've taken, uh, once I've got that army out of Palmer, Palmer again. Will then attack straight onto Tyrus again, and then completely wipe them out once and for all. If Pontus don't get in there first, by the looks of things. But if I can try and attack them now with Pontus supporting, that'd be quite good. But yeah, as I say, that's the thing with this. You know, very hard. It is now very hard. The CA team have put a lot of improvements into the AI into the battle map, into the campaign map and obviously when it is say when it does say very hard it now means very hard. It didn't at the beginning of the um the release of the game. It wasn't as challenging but it definitely is now so uh under the lash of the lash under the lash of the slaves worked much harder and the local economy was boosted but it was only a matter of time until the unhappiness of the slaves boiled over into rebellion. Lovely. Local slave population is working didn't she? Okay well Where, when well, where's the rebellion then? Oh, good. I hope we haven't got a rebellion to deal with as well. Not enough rebellions on my hand. Without another one. How dare you, Armenia. Trespassing in my lands. Oh, so the barracks are complete now at Alexandria. Lovely. So that's going to give us even more availability to choose from. We've got here now, we've got Levy, Theo, Spears, Pikeman. And Galatian Swordsman. Okay, so get Galatian Swordsman in there. You know, sitting in cavalry as well. Okay, that's fine. So that army's amassing very nicely indeed. And yes, look at that. Pontus are looking to attack, but we'll bring across the Sons of Set straight away and take it back now. We don't even have to fight this one out, we'll just auto resolve it kill them off and take Tyros back. Again, some mighty, some once mighty solicitor to say. So we'll occupy it yet again. Oh no, we've lost up both our um, elephant command. units, but never mind. We can always hire some back and it will give us a bit more extra cash each turn for a while anyway, so it probably does, has done me a favour actually. But I'm sure we'll be able to recruit some more bats, just double check actually. Yeah, look, we can recruit some more next time, so it won't be an issue. So Pontus, go away. There's no point. Your your movement of your army is not required. But uh, yeah, the Seleucids now. If I just think, so see, is yeah, that is it. That one fleet, I think, and then that's them gone. Let's quick on look at the diplomacy map. Yeah, that's it. That one fleet. So it's all over. The pleasures of my household are yours to enjoy. Oh, I should get some trade with these guys, the but let's just demand payment from them. Your let's try and see if we can do. Remarkable and sadly unneeded. 
My lord cannot be bought like oh, a yes, would accept. Let me make sure I did, 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 did demand and not offer. So they'll give me a hundred, so a thousand gold, so that's fine. Good. And of course that's nice, they are on good terms with me, because now they're right on my doorstep as well, so we don't want to be fighting them yet until it's completely necessary. Okay guys, so that's where I'm going to wrap up this, this, like this part. I know it's been a bit of a sort of let's play today. We have lost both our battles we've played in today, but as I say, you win some, you lose some, and that's the, the great thing about CA8. Yeah, CA and what they've done to the game, they have definitely improved the, the AA considerably um, over the last few patches. So you're going to get it, you're going to get it, especially when you're playing on very hard, as I say. So um, I hope you've enjoyed it nonetheless. We have eventually, mostly next turn, destroyed the Seleucids. And we'll, we'll cont continue next episode to push on East and then obviously go against the, the uh, Karanika. And yes, as I say, if you guys can come up with a suggestion about how to deal with these bloody rebels here, then I'm all for it. In fact, I may just, if you agree, just take this army down from Tyros and just double team them basically and uh, wipe them out from there. Once they've gone, hopefully we can try and keep uh, keep um, the public order down. But there's always been trouble around the Holy Land for thousands of years, so why change it now? But uh, yes, if you, as I say, if you do know how to deal with it. If, if my suggestion isn't the best way, you think there's another way of doing it, then tell me, uh, because I won't definitely want to hear from you. But yes, as I say, that's when I'm going to wrap the part up, so I hope you guys have enjoyed it nonetheless. Please remember to comment and subscribe. Hook me up on Twitter and Steam um, if you wish to have a game with me and to keep up with my lo latest updates on my Twitter account. Links to both of those are as well in the description below. So for now, this is Warrior Spotter saying goodbye. <laughs>